Hi, you guys. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is uh, a painting of a chair, and you're going to make it into a still life. Uh, so a few objects on it, but keep it the chair. I don't care what you do or what kind of a chair, you know, a rocking chair, a overstuffed chair. Uh, you can put your cat in the chair if you want to, if the cat's comfortable. But just a couple objects, and uh, I put a background behind this, just a, a piece of painted board that I have. But you could put you could put anything behind there, a scarf, anything, a uh, piece of clothing. You could hang a, a shirt off the back of the chair, just something that breaks up, you know, that white space. Um, I've just put some various objects in this. I, I want it to really be about the chair, so I haven't put a whole lot of stuff in here. And it kind of works for me in terms of like a, a, a still life that's about our situation now. You know, the little, the little musical instrument there that's about making art, about being stuck inside, the clock, we're, we're waiting for time to go by, uh, then there's a little piece of green behind it, that's the promise of something. Up here is a little rose that's pinned down. I've seen that people have made things kind of like shrines in their boxes. So you can add whatever you would want to add into this. A photo, whatever. Uh, King Kong is down there. That's the irrational side of this whole thing where you're just kind of like freaking out. But, you know, you just kind of got to stay calm and play your instrument, which is like, you know, being an artist. So as I move up here, we're going to make this... We're going to make this a bigger uh, painting. Now, I ask you to get some canvases that were 20 by 20, 24 by 20. That would work really, really well. But I realize some of you might not have gotten to the art supply store. So here's the solution. A couple pieces of Bristol board uh, taped together or glued together. And that brown umber, by the way, acrylic, works this really good... Uh, uh, glue. You can kind of put that together. You should let it dry. And uh, if you tape it, don't tape on the front, okay? Tape on the back so that we don't see the piece of tape. Now that might mean you have to get a bigger drawing board. A piece of cardboard will work. But make sure you tape the edges down because otherwise when it gets wet, it's going to warp out on you. Uh, so this is a good sized piece of paper and I could get that on here. You know, we're going to work from top to bottom, and one way to solve that, that just makes it easy, say, I've got a little bit, I'm doing a little bit more because of the neck on that musical instrument, so I put an X right here, that's the top of the chair. So you can put an X just on a piece of paper to let you know where the top of things are and where the bottom of things are. Put, also put an X on the floor down here, another piece of paper, that would work. So you get the whole thing laid out which is what I've shown in my drawing here. And, you know, it's like it's got, it's got, it, everything fits in there. I'm going to leave a little bit of the white of the studio here because compositionally I like it. Uh, the chair feels like the chair, and this chair's got a lot of character. It's an old chair. It's handmade probably or made in a factory. It's an antique. And this thing, this cigar box uh, uh, guitar, that's, that's from the 20s, so it's kind of got this element of time in it, you know. You could put whatever objects that you want inside of it, but it's kind of fun to put together the story. I always like King Kong, and I like this clock because it's like an old-time clock. Now, I've drawn into this, and I've just put in the minimal amount of information that I need to know. I know that this chair goes out sideways from the wall from where I'm standing. It doesn't come straight out. It goes out from the side like this. So you're looking at a side angle. The viewpoint is above, which I've written on here, viewpoint. You're looking down on the thing. And, uh, you know, you can put a scarf or a cloth behind this if you want to have a little bit of a different color. The chair is a subject, so I haven't dominated this whole thing. I haven't loaded it up. I, I, want, I like that orange against that, that gray, and there's a lot of different kinds of grays in this. So I'm going to kind of work that up. I put in a little bit of shadow. I'm going to paint into this, and I'll take photos as it works along as I work it up. Uh, I like it just as a drawing, and I'm a little reluctant to paint into it. But um, it's just on a piece of paper, and I'm out of canvas, so that's going to work for me. Uh, I'll, I'll put in a sketch. I'll, I'll take it through a few phases so you can kind of see how to work it up. But it's the same deal as what we've been doing. 
paint the background first, then go into the interior, paint the objects, big to small. And that'll really, really work. And if something's in the wrong position, just paint it out and replace it. Uh, you don't, don't, don't get too tight in your drawing because then you're just filling in spots. And, uh, you know, you're really doing your drawing with the paint, which I'm starting to see in some of the self-portraits. Uh, some of you need to turn those into me. Uh, I'm missing a few. So just to make an editorial comment, um, uh, please get caught up. Uh, but, you know, this, you know, you're going to be working in a chair. Work from your shoulder. Paint into this. Boom, 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 boom. You can just get those colors working against each other. This is orange. But look at the orange of that. I mean, look at how antique that orange is. It's really a dirty orange. So I'm going to have to scuzz it up a little bit. But that's nice, you know. It's kind of got all elements of time in it. So that's it. You're going to make this painting. You could work it over, uh, you know, two or three sessions. Just make sure your light is consistent. Okay, this is in my studio, so I got a fluorescent and I got clip-on lights above. Make sure you paint at the same time of day because otherwise you're going to be making a brand new painting. Light is everything. Light reveals objects. If you don't believe me, turn the light off and look at what you're looking at because the color completely changes and you're painting light. So paint light, not objects. Okay? And how the light falls on the objects. Okay, that is it. Uh, have a good time with this. Uh, we're going to move towards a little bit of landscape stuff soon. And if you're getting outside, you could go outside and take a few photos of things. be good to get a real dynamic thing going on, but I'll talk about that next week. Go out and take a few photographs if you're out for a walk. Um, it's going to get nicer later in the week, and that'll be the next class.